All right, we're back with a haul video. It's been about a month, I guess, since the last time I did one. I uh, got an interesting of uh, interesting hodgepodge of books to show. Um, some cover buys, some spec books, uh, first appearances, golden age, silver age stuff. Um, so we'll just start with this. Um, if you watch my videos, you might have seen in the past, I'd like to collect DVD comics. So I found this on eBay, um, paid $4 for it. Uh, it's the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 2, the collector's DVD set. It comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the reason why I wanted it was this reprint of Amazing Spider-Man number 50. Um, it's probably as close as I'll get to that book for a while. But it also comes with, uh, looks like some postcards. And some neat, like, artwork based off of the movie. I guess this might be some storyboard type stuff. And then a... Another little portfolio thing, and of course the the movie itself. So I thought that was pretty cool for five bucks. I wanted it specifically for the comic, but it came with all those other little extras. When I go to the flea markets, I always look through people's DVDs for uh, for books that have the comics in them. All right, so what we got next? Um, Father's Day is coming up. And uh, I picked up some books for my dad. Uh, just making sure we're still recording. And we are. Um, so he is a big Blondie fan. So I picked up a lot of Blondie books off of uh, eBay for him to give to him. These are mostly reader copies. But uh, I'll show them real quick. For those of you who are Golden Age fans. Blondie. So he's a big Blondie and Little Abner uh, collector. Well, not even a collector. Well, he collected Little Abner uh, toys, but he's uh, he enjoys reading Blondie. I mean, he still gets the, the paper every day uh, just so he can read the, the Blondie strips. So I got him that lot of books. We're kind of a little far away here. Just give me one second. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. I guess that's better. So I got him those. Uh, what do we got next? Let's just show off. Ah, I picked up this from, I think, Target. Uh, the Jet Jaguar figure. Uh, I love Godzilla. I uh, always did when I was a kid. And uh, grabbed that. And then also from the flea market. The camera's getting picked up again. Only because he's too big. But I uh, got that Vader that you see behind Thanos there. Got that for 20 bucks. He wanted 25 and he came down to 20 So I thought that was a nice little display piece. All right. We will show some current stuff. Um, mostly cover buys. I picked this up from Walmart. Uh, as I like to grab these Marvel comic packs. Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade. And then every video, um, you will definitely see Lucio Perillo stuff. Um, so I got Sacred Six, number nine. Also love Jenny Frizen. Uh, so I got Catwoman 31. Her artwork always has that like tint to it. Um, it's great stuff though. More Perillo, Vengeance of Vampirella, 18. I grabbed this because Shannon Mayer, like I think I said this in one of my other videos, because he did a, he's doing some sort of vampire book, uh, the cover art for it, but he did Vampirella, and most of the time his stuff is store exclusives, so anytime you, I can get a uh, some artwork by him that's not a store exclusive, I'm going to grab it. He had this in my pile, uh, I didn't ask for this to be on my pull list. Um, so he gave me, uh, not gave me, I paid for it, uh, Star Wars High Republic number three, Red Sonja, uh, The Superpowers number five, 
This was strictly a cover by uh, Crime Syndicate number three. Just love the artwork on that. Has like a Bruce Tim feel to it. Sacred Six number eight. Uh, that was also just a cover by. And then the Empire Strike Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary. Uh, this is just a book with a uh, bunch of artwork in there. So I had to have that. Then I got the Joshua Middleton cover for Wonder Woman 772. And then I got two copies of Vampirella number 19, uh, the Perillo covers. And last of the current books, the Art Germ Heroes Reborn number one. Looks a lot like Wonder Woman. I'm wondering if it was one of his Wonder Woman covers that didn't cut the mustard for him um, and turned it into this. So that is my stack of current things. Got a bunch of books that I picked up at the flea market and Instagram and eBay. Uh, so we'll show those real quick and some books from my local shop as well. One of my locals. Grab this Invincible Iron Man number 593, the uh, trading card variant for Ironheart. You know, her stuff is getting popular. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy number 23. This is from the Volume 3 run. Um, it's the origin of uh, the symbiotes, the first appearance of uh, planet Klinatar, and first mention of the team uh, agents of the cosmos. So this book was hot um, maybe about six months ago. I found a copy of that for a dollar. Uh, Green Lantern, number zero, origin of Simon Baz. Anything Green Lantern related because of the uh, HBO series is... is uh, getting hot now this is a book that's got a, a shit ton of first appearances in it it's uh avengers arena number one first appearance of death locket kid britain cullen bloodstone nara apex and the death of a character named metal uh so who knows that could be the next uh young avengers uh book someday just this is something well, you know a book i'm going to throw in my spec box and just let it sit there for a while i also found this uh in the same box and these all these books i'm showing here i picked up for two bucks a piece um uh, avengers arena number 14 the mike diodato cover uh pays homage to uh frank miller's wolverine number one it's a pretty popular cover and then um Hawkeye number 11, uh, this is that issue, the uh, Eisner Award winning issue, for, uh, has a solo story uh, from, uh, what's the dog's name, Lucky, the pizza dog, um, apparently this, 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 was, this too was hot a while ago, uh, and then the last of the Hawkeye books, um, I got the first team up of Clint Barton and Kate Bishop for two bucks, very happy to find that, I think that was the best book I found that particular day and uh, looking through his boxes at the flea market then i got uh, batman um volume two number 14 death uh death of the family the uh reintroduction of joker or first time joker comes back after a while and then infinity number four uh, has something to do with Thane, the son of Thanos, and uh, some Donny Cates spec with Thor, uh, the current run of Thor, something to do with the Black Gauntlet. Um, saw that on the Key Collector app, so I figured I'd grab that for $2. And then to round out the $2 books, I got Ms. Marvel number 13, first appearance of uh, an inhuman named Cameron, who's supposed to be in the Disney Plus show. Um, so I'll grab that. Then I got some Instagram books here. More Perillo stuff. Some variants, some ratio variants. Ra ratio variants um, for a Vampirella. And then uh, Red Sonia versus Mars Attacks um, variant. 
and then dynamite one of five like a green tint variant and then a red sonia vultures circle number four i went to english town flea market oh, about two weeks ago maybe and um i ran into uh fellow youtuber super joe at all i think that's joe's channel's name i'm not really good with that stuff but uh he had texted me and said, hey, there's a guy down there selling comics and uh, he cuts deals. But uh, it's hard. It was hard to negotiate with him because he's already started at a very high price to begin with. And um, there's you don't where where do you begin with with uh, with a guy who's just astronomically priced? Like an example, those Spider-Man reprints that you find in quarter bins or 50 cent bins, you know, the ones that were in the newspapers. Um, he had them in, in his long boxes for, I want to say 25 bucks a piece. And I'm like, hey, come on. But, um, we did go inside and we found a, a vendor who had a bunch of books and I found, I just bought three books for 10 bucks that day. And I found three copies of Mighty Avengers number one. So we got one, like I said, two and three and it's the uh which where monica rambo becomes uh spectrum so there's been a lot of spec on that character with all the disney plus things and then my final flea market pickup was i'm not a big superman fan at all but i wasn't going to leave this book behind plus there was only one guy that day selling comics and i didn't want to go home empty-handed so i bought this uh superman uh, 147 for 10 bucks. Um, it's from 1961. It's the first appearance of the Legion of Supervillains, uh, Cosmic King, Lightning Lord, and Saturn Queen. It has a date stamp, but it also has water damage, and there's a little piece taken out there. Um, it was only 10 bucks. You know, a high grade copy of that on eBay I saw was going for like 300 to 400 dollars. Um, I guess if you're putting a Superman run together, that's, you know, the going rate for that book. All right, coming down to the home stretch, I have finally put in, uh, I think, one of the final dents in my Tomb of Dracula run. After these books here, I am down to just needing two issues, issue number four and number one. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to swing a, a, a number one. But um, I got number 63 and number 62. And then uh, I got those from, I think, the flea market uh, as well. And then I got these off of Instagram. And I should have written down the seller's names for all these Instagram purchases. And I just, I just forget to do that. Uh, but Tomb of Dracula number 14 and tomb of dracula you dracula dracula number 11. Uh, so like i said down to just two issues left number four and number one hopefully marvel will do one of those facsimile editions for number one and then that will be a nice placeholder for me until i can find a way to pick up number one i've got just five books left uh six books left and you always save the best for last. Um, these are my, you know, my favorite pickups from the hall. I found uh, Tales to Astonish number 86. Just a nice copy of that. And then a really nice, uh, I, I want to say high grade, but, you know, people who are tougher graders than I will say that this is like a mid-grade copy. And, and maybe it is, but I've got this for really cheap. Um batman 197 i love this cover um it's got it's got creases in it let me see yeah there's a couple of creases down here but for the price i paid for this i was very very happy to have that uh, for the collection and then there's a seller on instagram who's got a comic shop in florida um he is in Bradenton, and uh, I started following him on Instagram, and he got a ton of Golden Age books in recently, and I spent 
about 350 maybe for the book the last four books i'm going to show um they're not in high grade but these are books that were uh three of these books were books that i i, I had on my um my bucket list type purchases they're not like braille books but i always wanted to get an issue from these titles um this was a really cool ghost comics um all new eerie mysteries ghost comics what number is this number 10 i forgot to write the year on the back of that the back is all torn up uh, on it the front presents really nice um, but i got it for like $30, I think, or $40, I can't remember. Um, this next book I paid $100 for, and it is, I always wanted a Golden Age Blue Beetle. This is from 1947. I forgot the issue number. Um, it's in respectable condition, in my opinion, for its, for its age. It's one of those books that only has one staple. Um, I guess that's what they were doing back then for a lot of these Golden Age books. So, grab that. And then, Black Cat Comics, number 20. Grab that. It's got a subscri subscription crease down the middle of it, or someone or some kid back in the day folded it up and put it in his back pocket. And then, my favorite book of the haul, um, Suzy Comics, number 56. Um... Nice good girl art cover there. Let me get closer on that. So that's it. That is my haul, short and sweet. Um, Going to be under 17 minutes. Uh, hopefully I'll put another video out again in a couple of weeks. I actually have a vacation coming up. And then hopefully I'll find some shops while I'm on vacation and show you folks what I pick up when I get back. Um, so again, thanks for, as always, for watching, and uh, until next time, bye for now.